Hi everyone, Amy Love here. Came on today to share another project I created with you and I want to apologize for the lighting, but it is what it is today. So hopefully you'll be able to see it. Like looking now, this looks a little orange. It's definitely pink and not orange. <laughs> so I created a little um, wall hanging that I attached to a uh, wooden peg because I just thought that was cute. And it is called La Vian Rose, which I love. So I actually um, printed out some images on fabric and then made them into their own little tags like I like to do. So I have one here and then I made this one that says love and this one that says friendship and then another um, pink rose and then I put Levian Rose on some fabric here and printed it out and um, then I worked on hand sewing it every evening and I absolutely love it. I, I've been enjoying pleating up some lace and if you can hear that noise in the background, Ruger has decided now would be a great time to chew his very noisy bone on the very noisy floor. So there's that. Um, but I've been enjoying making these these lace pleats, if you will. And I did that on a trim from Kim's shop. I love it. I'm sorry, I don't have an example to show you. And then I added um, just some like fibers behind these little rosettes and some cheesecloth because I love that. And then this pearl trim from Kim's shop that I am just in love with. This one's in pink and I sewed uh, just a long strand of it all throughout the entire wall hanging. I added these bits from uh, the my, one of my favorite trims from her store that we all love. I cut it into little pieces and I sewed it all over the place. And then I added some buttons and I hand sewed on some pearls and some vintage buttons and uh, a bit of mesh from one of her mesh laces. Um, in the background that you can't hard, you can hardly see. I mean, you can see some bits of it peeking out, but it's the pink bridal trim. Um, in the background there. <laughs> I know it's terrible. So that's what happens. You put the things on and then you cover them up and then you can't see them anymore. Wait, there might be, you might be able to see it better back here. So there's a bunch of bridal trim I sewed on in the background of uh, that pink stuff that I love. One of her amazing buttons right here. And of course the charm we all love. And behind the charm is one of the connectors that comes in her doily pack. Uh, here's one of her rolled roses, some more of that uh, pleated trim I put on there. I love this butterfly. I've had it in my stash for a long time. It was time to use it up. Um, this is from an applique from Kim's store, and so is this. I don't think she has either of those appliques anymore, but they're super, super cute. Then I added this bow from my stash that I love. Uh, and more pearls and here's another bit of that um, bridal trim peeking out <laughs> and some more pearls I mean I just went crazy with the bits but that's kind of what I like to do crazy with the bits <coughs> excuse me so this flower is from a trim from Kim shop and behind it I put you know a bunch of fibers back there because I just I love love the way it just looks like there's just stuff coming out of there and then I had this vintage um, earring with a little rose I decided that would be perfect right there and then this little cutie is one of Kim's snippet flowers that I got in my last month's design team package um, I will put a link to it up here in the iCards if you want to go check it out but I love these and she sells these in the shop and it looks gorgeous right there and then I just added this little snippet of trim I had in my little snippet bag in my stash but I think it's so cute it's so me I love it love it love it <laughs> so I'd love to know what you think please leave me a comment and a thumbs up. And of course, you'll find a link to the, to the shop below to her Etsy store. And you'll also find a link to all the current designers. So you go over and check out what they're doing too because they all are so talented and they inspire me all the time.
So I hope you're all doing well and that you're finding time um, to create. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you on the next one.